everybody, how you doing today? Today I'm gonna to tell you what Robot Vacuum I prefer uh, in my own collection in 2020. Uh, let's start off with the cheapest one. This is the iRobot Roomba E5. This is one of their cheaper products. This one does not have any type of actual navigation. There is no camera, there is no laser, nothing like that. This is what I would call like a random robot where it basically just bounces off walls and kind of creates its own path. And over time, after you keep running it and running it, it's gonna eventually run over everything in the room. So personally, I'm not a big fan of the random robots. I, I like to have a map on my app and be able to tell it to go clean a certain room, uh, add no-go lines and so forth. So personally for me, this robot does clean good. Um, there's no issues with the actual cleaning. It's, it probably cleans just as good as the i7. However, being that it doesn't have any type of navigation and as much app control, personally, I would cross this off my list. If you're looking for a cheaper robot and can't really afford any of these other ones, I'd say go for it because it does clean well. But if you, if you can't afford a little bit more money, uh, you can step up to something like the Roborock. This is only about $400. And this one is a laser navigation, which we'll get into in just a little bit. I believe this robot you can get for about $250 to $300 on sale, depending on where you look. I got this for right around $200 around Black Friday with Kohl's when they had that $15. Uh, Kohl's cash. So after everything was said and done, it was around 200 bucks. So if you can get it for that price, it's actually a pretty good robot. All right, next up, price wise, is actually going to be the Roborock S5. I paid right at $400 for this on Amazon. Once again, I believe that was around Black Friday. This robot uses laser navigation, which to me is the future of robots. This is the only laser navigation one I have. Every other one is camera based. The camera based does a good job overall, but there's a lot of things it can't do. One thing the camera based cannot do is work at nighttime. So if you go to bed and you want to run this at night and you want your house to be pitch black, these, all the camera ones will not work at all. I mean, I won't say they won't work at all. They'll work. They just won't do a good job. So the Roborock S5 is an amazing vacuum. The way it maps the house, the way it uses its laser. Basically with the laser, it'll remap the house every time it goes out and it'll do the entire house quickly and efficiently. All right, next up, price-wise, we have the Shark IQ. If you've seen my previous videos, you know I'm not a big fan of this robot. This has been the, the biggest aired out robot I've ever had. I get airs with it all the time. I gave this a second chance. I returned my first one. And to be honest, I'm going to be selling this one soon on eBay. I'm, I'm tired of it. It still has not mapped my house. Actually, I take that back. It says my map is complete, but it looks nothing like my floor plan. And the newest software, I ran it about five times and it still wasn't complete on the map. So I deleted the map and reset the robot and re-downloaded the software and everything. And then it ran about five more times and said the map was done, but it looks nothing like my floor plan. It missed entire rooms. Not only that, this thing airs out at probably half the times it goes out. It, it gives constantly gives me the replace dust cap error. And I flip it over and there's, there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm not sure what's going on with this guy. I'm, I really wanted to like it, but I just don't. So this one's gonna be sold soon. And I will definitely not be trying it again. I don't care if they come out with new updates. I'm done with the Shark IQ. I do not recommend it whatsoever. All right, the next up, we have the iRobot Roomba i7 Plus. This one, I believe, retails for $7.99 with the self-cleaning dock. This is an excellent robot. The self-cleaning dock works great. Let me rewind a tiny bit. The self-cleaning dock on the Shark works great as well. However, the robot is the problem. I don't like it. I don't recommend it. A lot of people love it. I just haven't had good luck with it, so. 
Back to this guy. This guy cleans amazingly. I put this thing through the hardest test, the torture test. I had to clean up basically a construction floor and it, it, do, it does everything I throw at it. This thing works flawlessly. It cleans well, it empties itself well. This is an excellent, excellent robot. Now the next one is the flagship model, the S9 Plus by Roomba, by iRobot. I was excited to get this. I really wanted to like it. I like the design. I love the ring that goes around the light. It's, it's the best looking robot here. I love the looks and I love what it's supposed to do, but I don't like it overall. The base works fine, just like the i7. And I'm actually gonna wind up returning this probably in the next week. I'm gonna make a video on why and it'll explain in detail why. I just don't like it that much. I prefer this i7 over this one without a doubt. Like I said, this i7 just works flawless. It's an awesome robot. This one I've had my issues and I got video proof of certain things it does that just, it shouldn't do as an $1,100 vacuum on sale. This thing's normally $1,400, which is just crazy for a vacuum. So what is my favorite vacuum out of all these? What do you guys think? Let me first scratch the ones I don't like again. Believe it or not, I don't like the S9 Plus. It's got major flaws and it's just way too expensive when you can compare it to these other ones that are one third the price. So this one's going back, sadly. I really wanted to have this as my only robot, but it just it just didn't do the it just didn't do it for me. Sharks going back, you know why, you can check my previous videos. I'm gonna make another quick video of why I'm selling this one and I have all types of errors and I'm gonna show you the math that it made and I'm just tired of messing with it, I'm done with it. Just kidding. And then the E5, like I said, I, I want some sort of navigation. It's a good robot if you don't care about that, if you have a small apartment. This thing would probably do an amazing job, but I, I want to be able to tell it to go clean the kitchen or the family room. I want to be able to add no-go lines and all that stuff, and this one cannot do that. So between these two guys, everybody knows if you watch my videos, I love this Roborock S5, and I love this i7. So really, it comes down to the self-emptying bin. If you have to have that, which is great to have, it works great. You don't ever have to touch any dirt and it just works. This is $7.99, works amazingly. And I highly recommend the i7 plus, even over their flagship model. Now the Roborock overall, I like better, mainly because it's laser navigation. It just, the way it maps the house, the way it cleans efficiently and quickly, this thing will clean my entire floor plan in about 50 minutes perfectly every single time it runs and it gets the entire floor plan. This one, it'll get the entire floor plan, but it takes much longer. The battery in this lasts about an hour and a half. It does have to go back and charge and then it'll come back out and finish it in about 20 to 30 minutes, but it does a great job as well. So I have to say right now, the Roborock is still the clear winner to me. It's cheaper, it's $400 on sale if you can find it for that price and it just works amazing. If they come out with a model with a self-emptying bin, it's over. Let's throw all these off the table. Self-emptying bin Roborock would be, I would think, the recommended robot by every single person that does these type of reviews. Now, the thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a self-emptying bin, so just like all the others, you have to empty it manually, which is not a big deal. However, you always get this dust everywhere. If you're emptying into your trash can, you're gonna get dust in the air, and it just sticks to everything. I don't, I don't like that. So the self-emptying bin is huge. Oops. 
So finally, if you want a self-emptying bin, definitely go with the i7 Plus. If you don't care that much about that, you can't beat this. This, this thing is amazing. I love it. This one's amazing as well. I love it too. And these other three are pretty much going to go away. I don't need to have this many robots, but I wanted to review all these different ones. And I'm still going to get more robots on this channel and review them. I actually have a cheaper robot from Amazon I got to do really soon. All right, last thing. Let's go ahead and rate these robots, one through five, in what order that I would buy them. And that's definitely going to be one. Two, that's actually, uh, all right, it's going to be one, two, three, four, believe it or not, and five, just because this doesn't have any type of navigation whatsoever. That's the biggest downfall, but it is by far the cheapest vacuum here. I want to say again, I really wanted to like the Shark IQ. I gave it a good shot. I updated everything. I tried to remap it twice, and it just keeps failing me. I cannot recommend this. And plus, the price now I think is like five fifty to six hundred, because the sales have kind of gone away. Most of the sales were around four hundred around Black Friday and Christmas. At four hundred, it's not terrible. If you have a smaller house, maybe, and it just works for you. A lot of people say they love theirs. It just didn't work for my floor plan. I don't know why. It just would not map this thing ever. The first one or this one. So like I said, I'm done. If you're going to buy this, if you're gonna, I mean, if you're going to spend 500 on this, just spend the extra two or 300 and get the, the Roomba. They've been around for a very long time making these robots, and they just work flawlessly. And like I said, this thing has been through hell. And it's still working perfectly. I even have aftermarket rollers, brush head, and filter, and it's still working perfect. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you found out some information about these robots. I'm not a professional by any means, but this is just what I thought about these particular robots. Oh, yeah, let me throw in there. I also had the Dyson 360 Heroist. That one I recently sold. It was about an $800 robot. It was just too expensive for what it did. It, was a, it actually cleaned really well. The suction power was excellent. However, the design was its fatal flaw. It did not have a side brush, and it was just too tall. It couldn't get underneath the base cabinets in my kitchen. It can't get under couches at all. And it really doesn't do that great of a job in corners and baseboards because there is no side brush. All right, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. Uh, if you feel I got these wrong, throw it, go ahead and throw it down in the comments and let me know what you think of these. And you all have a fantastic day. See you later. Just the way I like me.